Time for the only radio show of its kind. Auctioneers of antiques, collectors of cool, veterans of vintage. It's the Donnelly Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. For the next hour, enjoy great information about buying and selling antiques and collectibles and some interesting stories. Now, the Donnelly Auctions Hour. Welcome to the Donnelly Auctions Hour. Thank you for joining us. We are here every Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. My name is Susan, and my partner, Randy Donnelly, is not in the studio today, but he's on the line with us today, calling from Florida. Hi, Randy. Hey, Susan. Yeah, that I am. Oh, my God, it's beautiful weather here. Hey, don't push. It is actually nice here, too, so that's okay. But I want to talk to you real quick about our last auction we just held. Uh, Last weekend, we had some major highlights that we want to share with our listeners because I feel it's important for everyone to know what is valuable today and what you should be putting at Donley Auctions, right, you guys? We also have David Hilp on the line. Hi, David. Hi. Hello. David has some interesting stories about some of the items that sold. So, well, and, and David, uh, uh, we, we've uh, talked to David before, of course. Uh, he's been uh, with us for, for years, but uh, David and I have known each other, it seems like, forever since we were uh, teenagers, although he's much younger than me. Uh, <laughs> we've been both military collectors forever. Uh, so uh, our last auction was incredibly good. We, we had some, uh, some fabulous prices. Uh, uh, David, what's your what's your thoughts on on the way things went at the last auction? I I think it went uh, very well, and, and of course you had some really great items that just attracts more people to look at everything. So I think that affected uh, the entire auction up and down, even on some of the not quite as exciting items. But uh, I well, thought it, I thought it went well. And, and you're right. You know that's one thing that uh, I I think we get much better prices. Uh, for our items, for our, our customers, for the simple reason that we do put a nice mix together of, you know, I'm, I'm going to call it uh, lower cost, not lower end, because all, all the military relics we sell are, are good and interesting, but some don't cost as much. So when you place them with rarer, more expensive items in the same sale, you have a different set of eyes looking at it. So Right. Uh, I, I think that's why our prices are so strong. Right. But, we not so only what, what's your we what, not only what, had the firearms about? and the ammunition and military items, but we also had all the gangster items thrown in there. So that just really made a very interesting auction. Yeah. So, uh, or David, what, what's your thoughts on some of the highlight pieces? What uh, what, what did you see sell that you thought went high? Well, I thought that the 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 World War II B17 control yoke, uh, which is you know like the steering wheel of a B17, I thought that was outstanding. That was a, a great piece, and uh, you know, and it certainly, you know, we had I think we had an estimate of between one and two thousand, and I think you you hit well over four thousand on it. Yep, we hit over four thousand, about forty five hundred dollars on that B17. So again, folks, if you have any aviation items, relics, memorabilia out there, let us know. Now, here's what I found interesting about that is our consigner, when I told her uh, the good news as to how much it went for, uh, she and her daughter both said to me, oh, my goodness, I didn't even know that was mine. <laughs> now, that that is the reason you need to hire an honest auction house, somebody you can trust, because now if, if these folks, we took a bunch of military relics out of the house, and even though you know we marked down what what we take, uh, they had no idea that was their item, and they were shocked to find out uh, the price, the, the good news, what, what they got for it. Yeah, we have a lot of happy consigners from this auction for sure. And, David, you are one of them because you actually had the chronograph in the auction. Tell us how that went. Well, for the general public, it's a, a, a watch, and but uh, when it's used by the military, they call it a chronograph. And I'd had it in my collection for over 25 years, and I decided to finally let it go. And I uh, tried selling it on my own for what I thought it was worth, and I just didn't get much interest because it's kind of a, a very narrow uh, interest in the hobby. And uh, I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to give it to uh, Donnelly Auctions, and uh, I, I got over $3,000 for it. And at one point, I was going to let it go for less than 1000 uh, to, to a private party, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> glad you didn't, too. <laughs> 
you, you know, I say this all the time. Uh, uh, that's why uh, uh, you do need to sell at, at auction because nowadays at auctions, I mean, we have thousands of people looking all across the world, not just in the United States. So when you're, you know, sometimes people, if you're allowing people to come into your homes uh, and, and give you what you think is the, the best money, I mean, you really don't know until you put it on the world market and find out what these things can go for. So, yeah, David, I'm, I'm real happy for you on, on that piece. Thank you. That's right. And then the gangster memorabilia. Wow. We got some great prices for some of that. We talked about the Clyde Barrow firearm for weeks, didn't we, Randy? Guess what that we, sold? We did. <laughs> Guess what that one sold for? $31,000, folks, for the Clyde Barrow gun. And then the Pretty Boy Floyd artifacts, 5000 Are you kidding me? That was amazing. The, the Bonnie and Clyde photos went for $1,800, $2,500. The wanted posters, over 1000 How about his... Uh, Death pants, that piece of cloth, eight hundred dollars. So gangster yeah, memorabilia, for, yeah, for, sells very for well. A quarter inch for a quarter inch piece of cloth, right? <laughs> eight hundred and forty-seven dollars. That that would mean that old Clyde's pants probably ended up uh, over the years selling for fifteen or twenty thousand dollars. Wow! Uh, in in pieces like that, yeah. But, you know, we, we keep asking. You no, know, we keep asking our, our our guests out there who are, are listening. Uh, for gangster memorabilia, because so many of our our listeners are from the Chicago area, and of course, you know the Roaring Twenties really was uh, all about Chicago and and the crime and and gangster. So there's a lot of memorabilia out there, and we need you to call us right now, Susan. That what number? That's right. Our phone number is eight one five nine two three seven thousand. If you would prefer to email us, not everybody likes to get on the phone, but you can email us at consign. C O N S I G N at DonleyAuctions.com. You know, if I can toss this in, if uh, I bet you that Sean Thompson would say, just bring, give us your, your vintage gangster stuff. Don't give us any of your modern gangster stuff. Okay. We'll let politics uh, stay on, on the uh, Sean, Sean Thompson, Thompson show. show. Yeah. We're, but we're here after a- antiques today. Overall, <laughs> overall, the auction went very well. The U.S. Colt SAA sold for 8500 The Navy Carbine, 7200 I mean, the prices were very good. So again, we just want to encourage everyone. We do have another firearm and military auction coming up September 23rd and 24th. So we're taking consignments for that auction now. And these are the type of items we're looking for, especially anything with provenance, right? You guys like the General Custer powder horn. Tell us about that. Well, uh, I had a chance to hold it and uh, look at it and looked at the provenance on it. It it belonged to one of the top uh, little bighorn uh, experts in the in the country, and he lived very close to where uh, Custer had uh, a home in Michigan. And it, it, back in the late '60s, early '70s, he went to that that farmhouse and found the uh, powder horn in the barn hmm. and documented it. And it was in a museum in Michigan, and uh, it ended up in, in the collector's hands. And uh, uh, the rest is history here at Donnelly for what it went for. That's right. It went for thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, the, uh, you know. Again, we we got to keep telling people we we can turn your antiques. You know, we we can make items fit in your wallet. You know, that's one of our slogans here. That's right. So again, call us at eight one five nine two three seven thousand. If you have any questions, we'll get you to the right person and discuss the next steps. It's that easy. But overall, the auction went great. The other items that sold really well are the the Japanese swords. David, you have info on those? Yeah, there there was a uh, just a. Um... A, a typical uh, bring back from World War II Japanese Navy officer sword, and it was in decent condition. And uh, I think that went for over eleven hundred. And uh, that was just a, a nice example. And that's the kind of thing that you know some people think that oh, it's got to be something that's super famous or well known. But I always stress the fact that you know many veterans just br- brought home something, put it on the wall didn't think of it as far as dollars and just enjoyed it. And then they realized, oh, my gosh, there's a very strong collector market for it. That's right. So, again, we're looking for firearms, ammunition, vintage ammunition, military relics. How about some aviation memorabilia for our September auction? And speaking of that, one of the items I really loved in the auction was the 1930s Art Deco airplane fan. 
Remember seeing that? We that had two of them, right, David? Yeah, that was a surprise. That one sold for $2,400. Why? Well, uh, well just, just because – like, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's just, just because it was neat and it was classic. I mean, it wasn't that necessarily that that particular fan was – uh, necessarily that rare, but people buy with eye appeal. There's many reasons that, that people buy at auction. If they like it, they pony up the money and they buy it because uh, once it's gone, it, it's probably going to be squirreled away in a collection for another 20 years. You got to buy it now. That's right. And what was, what was unique about the fan is that it hit three categories of collectors. It was very art deco. It was aviation and it was uh, uh, a fan. You know, it was uh, a, a fan. And yeah. so you have the three collector categories that were at all, you know, the cross categories that find it uh, interesting. And also the condition on it was very, very good. That's right. Okay, guys, we're going to have you back on the next segment. So you two stick with us, David. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll talk about a couple things coming up next. But the rest okay. of you folks, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Donnelly Auctions Hour right here on AM560, The Answer. They've been called auctioneers of antiques, collectors of cool, even veterans of vintage, and they can introduce themselves. Thanks for listening. This is the Donnelly Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. Welcome back to the Donnelly Auctions Hour. I'm Susan, co-owner of Donnelly Auctions. You know, we're just located 60 miles west of Chicago, folks. you got to come out and visit us. But on the phone today, I have Randy Donnelly from Florida, and David Hilp, one of our military experts, on the phone with us today. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, Susan. I, I know, Randy, Hello. you want to talk real quick about uh, November, our annual fall classic, folks. is coming up well, the second week in November. I do, Susan, and, I, and I'm sorry that we're kind of all over the board. I mean, we're going to be jumping around in this show. But because I'm in Florida and I, I can't talk a, a, a lot today because I'm uh, – I'm actually at uh, a, a client's house looking at a, a, a large collection here in Florida that we'll be bringing back, and uh, we'll tell you more about that as as uh, as we acquire it. But uh, uh, but the fact is, you know, we we are not too soon to be promoting and pushing for items that we need we need for our November auction. Our, our November auction is one of our classics where we do everything. Antique architecture, cars, motorcycles, Petroliana, and we've got some really fabulous items already consigned for November. Uh, but in order for us to promote them, ladies and gentlemen, we need your items now. You need to be calling us, and what we're short on right now, what we're really pushing and looking for is anything automotive or motorcycle related, and whether it's vintage cars whether it's motorcycles, gas pumps, and signs, we need your items now, and we need big collections. I mean, this November auction, we do four days, four complete days. We're doing thousands of items. So if you have a large collection, now's the time because we've got plenty of time to promote it. That's right. And one of our favorite things, my personal favorite, is all of the cars that we get for this auction. Remember when we had that 59 Caddy? Tell us the story about the 59 Caddy. Well, you know, the, the 59 Caddies is funny because uh, David brought up in the last segment our, our friend uh, uh, Sean Thompson, who has his uh, daily radio show on our, our same station here. Uh, and, and Sean says all the time he wanted that Caddy. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know what? It went high. Again, it went high. Every car collector I know pre-auction estimated this 59 Caddy convertible at $70,000, but at Donnelly Auctions, it brought $110,000, and that's the beauty of an auction. That's right. I know the owner of the Caddy, she wanted to sell that to someone in another state, didn't she? She didn't want to put it in an auction. She would have had to well, deal with oddly, shipping and everything. Yes, oddly, I actually came here. I, I came to Florida to, to pick this car up. We get so much stuff out of Florida and bring it to our auction house in Illinois. We literally, uh, and I did this at absolutely no expense to her, to the consigner. Uh, I footed the bill to have a, a transporter come pick this Cadillac up and, and bring it to us in, uh, in the Chicago area here in Union, Illinois. And, but, but it was worth it. Uh, great items bring great money. I have to say, Randy, didn't the car get sold to someone 
in Florida. <laughs> I think it, 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 it went, went back right to back. Florida. <laughs> it had just left it there, but that's okay. Uh, the, the transporters love us. They keep, <laughs> yes, they uh, uh, <laughs> keep making money. That's but, right. Um, you know, the, the main thing is we get a top dollar for so, so many items. And we can do the same thing for you, ladies and gentlemen. You need to call or email us now. That's right, 815-923-7000. If you'd like to get on the phone, ask for Randy even. But we have other experts in-house that can answer all of your questions on is it worth something or not. You know, we'll give you the right direction. We're honest, right? Yeah. You know, and, it's all about integrity. So many items, be it, you know, coin collecting. I, I mean, it just... Uh, item after item, uh, antique jewelry. Uh, I mean, there's so many times people are turning in their gold for scrap metal uh, when in reality it's worth more as a outstanding piece of jewelry or the coin value. So you have to be careful. I mean, a lot of times scrap is the way to go, but very often we can get you way more money selling at auction. That's right. I saw in the uh, auction gallery, we just have an entire wall of pinball machines already. So we're also looking for more arcade games correct absolutely anything coin well. operated we refer to it as coin op anything coin operated whether it's uh, uh big scales or old coke machines or uh you know nickelodeons uh, jukeboxes uh susan i just uh uh took care of a, a large collection right here in high springs florida uh with literally a thousand a thousand items uh, phonographs, music boxes, and Nickelodeons. Uh, I, I prearranged a sale of that just yesterday. That's amazing. Yeah, I heard the news. We were celebrating. Just congratulations to all involved yeah. for sure. That What a so, great so deal we, that was. We, we can help everybody in mm -hmm. so, so many ways. They need to call us for a free consultation, and I stress that, a free consultation. That's right. No obligation. Just chit-chat with us. Right. We'll we want to mm -hmm. hear what you have for sure. Again, I'd like to get our number out there, 815-923-7000. Now, some of the other things, Randy, that I know were big sellers in not only November, but April. We have an April Classic and November Classic. Are the kitty rides and all of the amusement park items? Well, that that's it, Susan. Uh, we sell, uh, you know, big or small, Donnelly auctions. Does, does it, it all. all. Mm -hmm. um, we we will sell anything that's uh, amusement park related. We we get so many uh, uh, fun items, and we'll sell complete full size amusement park rides. Uh, our amusement buyers are are incredible. I remember and, one uh, year we had an entire carousel set up in the back. Uh, we've done that on more than actually one uh, auction. We had three carousels set up at the same auction. They all sold, and they sold for huge money. And, uh, you know, right. as you mentioned, too, right on down to small kitty rides that you might have seen in supermarkets and this type of thing. We, we sell those, too, very, very well. That's right. In both restored and unrestored condition, because we've had some pristine ones and then some that people just want in the unrestored original condition. Right. And, right. you know, we've yeah, got the right. room for it, believe it or not. We've got room for these big items, and we just want you to give us a call. We want to help you downsize. Email us some photos at consign at donleyauctions.com. We just moved in. You talk about big items. We just yeah. moved in some <laughs> unbelievably large steam engines in, into our facility, uh, big full-size uh, steam uh, engines. And uh, to that point, uh, we're going to have a couple amusement park railroad trains that went around amusement parks. We'll have them here in November nice. for sale. If you want to see pictures of those steam engines, they are on our Facebook page, uh, Donley Auctions Facebook page, and there's one with Tucker the Auction Dog standing on top of it. That's a massive piece of machinery that they used in factories, that generator, isn't it? It, it certainly is. It certainly is. And speaking of the Facebook page, uh, uh, I believe we have Hopalong Cassidy's trailer, his Airstream trailer oh, from yeah. the TV show <laughs> Hopalong Cassidy. We have that up for private sale right now. So uh, if it doesn't sell before the auction in November, uh, it'll be available at our big November sale. But right now, it is being sold as a private sale or offered as a private sale at DonleyAuctions.com. That's right. There are photos and a video of when it was arriving on our Facebook page. And, you know, check our website, too, at DonleyAuctions.com. We have all of our auction dates scheduled there. 
and actually links to other videos and the actual bidding platform. So that's the place to go, DonleyAuctions.com. we got another minute, Randy. Anything else we're looking for for November? Well, you, you again, I, I just can't stress enough that it's not too early. You, you need to call us with slot machines, jukeboxes, early motion picture equipment, cameras, projectors. Uh, all these type of things sell so well in, in November. Um, but right now, what we're short on, what we're short on is Petroliana. I need big signs, big porcelain and neon signs that were in front of gas stations and, yeah, and uh, the commercial buildings. Yep. Gas you pump got it. signs, cars, trucks, bikes, motorcycles. You got it. Also, you know, I know another thing that always sold well is barbershop items, soda fountain items, general store. Remember those big coffee grinders we had, the scales. We had advertising pieces from barbershops and cabinets. I mean, the list goes on and on. Some of those barber chairs, Randy, sold anywhere from five hundred to six thousand dollars, whether they were restored or not. That, that's right. The the right barber chair still brings a good money. That's I mean, right. common ones are you know bring o- only three four hundred dollars, but uh, but some barber chairs are extremely valuable. That's right. Give us a call at eight one five nine two three seven thousand. Let's consign some stuff for November, folks. Uh, Randy, we're going to let you go. Good luck in Florida. Congratulations again on the deal yesterday. David, stay with us. I want to talk to you about what's coming up in September. I know you had a couple more stories. Remind me, I want to ask you about Oriental Rugs. You are listening to the Donley Auctions Hour right here every Saturday on AM560, The Answer. You're listening to the Donley Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. Welcome back to the Donnelly Auctions Hour. Thanks for sticking with us during that break. I'm Susan, and Randy's out in Florida right now, but he was on our last two segments. Uh, He's back to work already. Get back to work, Randy. But I still have David on the line with us. Thanks, David, for hanging with me. I want to talk a little bit about our upcoming auction in September. The next Guns and Military auction is September 23rd and 24th, and I understand you have uh, something to say about that. Yes, um... This is from a, a, a longtime uh, Chicago area collector, uh, and it's, it's this is part two of the collection that we did in July. And in the upcoming September auction, there's going to be an incredible amount of Czech, Czechoslovakian, Slovakian, and Polish medals, badges, pins, and it's just a, such a fi- fantastic collection that I know that the collectors are going to be interested. And as in the past, we've even uh, that I, I could see some museum interest because it's really an extensive and quality collection. Those are all the items that are in the binders, right? Right. Some of them we've had to take out of the binders because they're, some of them are standalone, fantastic, and uh, uh, and they deserve really to be not just in a binder but just in cases for people to take a look at better. How did those sell in July? Uh, they they did well. The first did part, well. especially the, the foreign part, uh, did very well. On the U.S. side, uh, it, it it did well. There was a number of uh, of collectors and uh, that were uh, that were acquiring them, and uh, and it was just a decision that was such a large collection. It's never a good idea to put it all out at once if it's tremendously large, because sometimes the collecting public only can ha- spend so much at one time. Right. And we and we kind of say like they like to reload their finances. And if you put it all out, sometimes they don't buy as much as they could if you just do it one auction, you know, half, and then another auction for the other half. That's right. And speaking of that, we're doing that with, uh, let's give a little teaser about what's coming up and what we've acquired with the ordinance and uh, grenade collection, David. Right. It's still in process, but this is one of the uh, country's premier, if not the Western Hemisphere's premier collection of uh, grenades, landmines, fuses, from World War One through the modern era, and it is it's just an incredible collection. And, uh, and and of course, we're dealing with someone who had passed away, and we're dealing with the family, and uh, we're taking care of all aspects of it, both of the making sure everything is legal, making sure everything's done properly, and also uh, the consigner understood the importance of you can't put it up all at one time. It's too much for for too many people to look at, and it's better to do it and give them a chance to promote it some more. And uh, and that makes it better for the consigner, and also makes it better for for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, for the bidding public. That's right. So when that deal is finalized, you'll be working on this, right? We're going to keep you busy till September for, for the first part, time. right, David? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, we look forward to that because David's 
with us pretty much every day. He's the, he's the guy who's describing all of our military relics. So thank you for that, David. The descriptions really make a difference, and I know you, you have a lot of experience in that field. So again, if you want to call us and ask for David, we'll get him on the phone if you have any questions on any military items, or you can email us, and again, we, we'll have David respond back to you. But in July, remember, we had the um, White Earp Fest that we had in the auction, and we decided to pull it at the last minute because there was a letter of provenance with that in the July auction. And the letter said that there was also a saddle included. This was the Wyatt Earp a lot that we had in July. We pulled it. Well, that is now going to be coming to fruition in September because the saddle is coming our way. We found it. So the Wyatt Earp lot, I guess all three of those items will be together, the vest, the pistol, uh, and the saddle. I, I don't know if it's all one lot or not, but that will be coming up in September as well. So, again, we are looking for items like that with provenance that it's going to get a lot of different types of collectors looking at the auction. And by the way, th what you just said speaks to the integrity of Donnelly Auctions because some auction houses would just say, well, we promoted it, we're just going to put it up without the saddle. And, right. that, and that, that does not serve the buyers well, it does not serve the consigner well, and instead of just saying, well, we'll just do part two with that, that we, it's important to keep it together and willing to pull an item to make sure it's together so it maximizes the, what you get for it at auction. That's right. Yeah, so we definitely wanted to, you know, pause the button on that one and do it the right way. So September 23rd and 24th, an amazing gun and military auction coming up. You know what happened just yesterday? Uh, Neil, our gun expert, our firearm expert, got a collection of snake guns in. Did you see those, David, in the big cases? I that was it, that was incredible. They were beautiful. You wanted to handle them with gloves because they were in right. such perfect condition. We have 22 snake guns, some pythons. I don't know. Did you say there's some anacondas? I don't know much about that, but I know there's some pythons in there. All in excellent condition. Amazing. The guy was only going to give us a couple to just kind of test the market, but it, his buddy said, nope, you got to give them all to Donley Auctions. They will take good care of those firearms for you. So he gave us 22 of them. From two and a half to eight inch barrels, blue, nickel, stainless steel. You should see these. These firearms are like art, you know, pieces of artwork for sure. Some have boxes and some come with the Colt letterhead. Holy cow. Coming up in September, September 23rd and 24th. And again, we are still taking consignments. Anything else, David, we're looking for? A couple seconds left. Well, uh, just that uh, that uh, I think September is going to have a, a, a really a, a nice mix of a lot of things, things that are affordable for a young collector, things for the advanced collector, and everything in between. That's right. Again, September 23rd and 24th, call us at 815-923-7000. You can even leave us a message if you want. Email us at consign at donleyauctions.com. David, thank you for your time today. I'll see you thank back you. at the office. For everyone else, stick with us. Shauna Donley up next. On AM560, The Answer. And now, more of the Donnelly Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. We are back with the Donnelly Auctions Hour. We're here every Saturday from 1 to 2 o'clock. And, you know, we just want to let everyone know about particular items that we're looking for for upcoming auctions. Find out what you have. Is anything of value? You know, we've really been talking about that a lot in the last few segments with Randy and David for our September and November auctions. Again, just let me give you the number, 815-923-7000. But for this segment, we're going to talk about our other uh, entity, our the Donley Group, headed up by Shauna Donley. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Susan. How are you today? Excellent. Welcome back. Shauna's been traveling and was in Florida working on a deal with Randy that I understand has, uh, has us all celebrating. So thank you for your time traveling with Randy and getting the job done. Um, and I know you've been busy, so tell us what's happening in the Donley Group. Right, absolutely. Well, getting the job done is the name of the game, and that's certainly what we <laughs> do. Um, the Donley Group is our real estate group headed up by me. We work with At Properties, Christie's International, um, and it's really exciting. We've been closing and listing properties like crazy. And one of the best things that I think that we can offer our clients, especially the listeners of our radio show, is that we are full service. When you call us to come and take a look at your house and give you a broker price opinion and kind of put together a game plan to sell, that also includes we can help you sell your antiques. 
We're doing that with this house in Brookfield right now. We're closing in just a couple of weeks, and we'll be holding a conducted estate sale for all of the interior. So stay tuned for news on that. Wow. So we're kind of a one-stop shop, right? We absolutely are, and but we don't have to be. I mean, I love listing a house that's in perfect condition and ready to go, but we are always there to help with everything. We, we want to get the job done, and we have a lot of happy clients. I love that. And this is not just in Illinois, correct? Correct. I've got partners in all 50 states. Um, I'm licensed in Wisconsin personally, so I've been on buyer tours. We were just actually looking at a commercial space up in Lake Geneva last week, and, um, you know, just working on deals and we're that's actually for a lease uh, for the space and we'll be doing a large build out for our client. So, you know, we, we are full of different options. We help buy, sell, rent and invest. Wow. That's great, Shauna. Thank you so much for the update on that. What else do you have going on in Shauna world? Oh my goodness. All kinds of things, but I do have some statistics for you um, about them. Yeah, let's hear it. Help mortgages and the current market. You know, it's really interesting. So, um, you know, we have a lot of misconception about who the buyers are right now and who is holding on to their homes. And right now, 70% of Americans with mortgages are paid off at least 50%, which I think is a crazy statistic. You think all the time that people owe so much money on their homes, but no. Right. People are putting down a lot of money and they're buying and they're holding. Huh, I did not know that. That's great information. How do people get a hold of you, Shauna? Well, they can call me on my cell phone, which is 815-790-9673. Or you can go to our Donley Auctions website. And at the top, we have a real estate tab. And you click on real estate. There's my profile, my information. But also underneath the real estate tab is information about the Wild West Town being for sale. That's right. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Well, we have a 24-acre commercial complex here in the heart of McHenry County. We're right on Route 20, so we've got, you know, um, interstate access there just four miles down the road. We've got 40,000 square feet of commercial buildings, two residences, natural gas, water. um, Our water is on well. We've got Comcast fiber optics, multiple entrances and driveways, uh, paved and lighted parking. But perhaps the coolest thing is what it was operating at, which was the Wild West Town. And you go to our website, click on real estate, and we've got a video that shows the town in its glory and full operation there. Oh, I love that video. Yeah, great video to really see the park in its heyday for sure. And it's been around since, what, 1974? 1974 is when our family started it. Can you believe that? Wow. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, we walk around there. It's been closed for a couple years now. Um, I just really hope somebody can find a use for the property. The other night I was out and someone had asked, you know, where you live? I said, Union. Oh, out by the Wild West Town? Yeah, that's us. I love when people say that. Well, what happened? So everybody wants to know what happened. I said, you know, COVID kind of killed it. Uh, It's closed, but it's for sale. And they said, I've got people. I know somebody. We need to get that place back and resurrected. I said, well, give us a call. We'll see what happens, right? Right. Well, let's find a group of investors that want to. Everybody wants a little piece of it. Exactly. Yeah, this was in Barrington. So maybe there's some investors out there. You never know. And I would just love to see somebody uh, give it a little TLC for sure. Absolutely. Well, and the beauty of it is that currently it's still just sort of frozen in time. Someone could walk right in and get things going. That's right. You know, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was a month ago, we had a, uh indie band. Remember that? They came out to do a video in the That's gun right. arena. <laughs> they had their lights and their staging and everything and actually did a music video. That was pretty neat, too. What a great backdrop. We've had TV shows come out there, and yes, the music videos and other independent filming has been done out there. And certainly, you know, all of our favorite stunt guys in Chicago come out and shoot little projects every now and then, too. That's right. They were just here looking in the saloon the other day, wanted to do a, uh, I don't know what they were doing, filming something, right? How great is that? Yeah, exactly. So lots of different uses. It's still there, still available. And oh, how great that would be. That's right. Well, thank you, Shauna, for that. Anything else to add? 
Um, just that if you are interested in buying or selling, again, I've got partners in all 50 states, but call me personally. I'm happy to discuss your real estate goals and also just to be a resource for people. You know, you have questions or need recommendations for contractors or should I remodel this? Should I not? I'm here for you. That's right. Shauna, we appreciate that. I might have to give you a call too. We're looking for something out in the Lake Geneva area, as you know, so we'll see what we can do with that. But again, folks, check our website at DonleyAuctions.com. We have all of our auction dates coming up and all of our real estate info is there. Coming up next, I'm going to give you some dates of uh, some auctions still coming up this year. It's not too late. So don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Donley Auctions Hour every Saturday on AM560, The Answer. The Donley Auctions Hour continues now on AM560, The Answer. Back again with the Donley Auctions Hour. I'm Susan, I'm co-owner of Donley Auctions in Union, Illinois. I'm here with Mike Donley. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Thanks for joining us. I just wanted you to mention about an interesting collection we received I don't know, a few, several months ago, I would think. We're working on it now, and that is the Playboy and Erotica auction. Tell us about that. Uh, well, it's actually two separate collections. One collection came out of southern, uh, southern Indiana, and that's uh, all statues and uh, figurines and such that a man had collected for, you know, 30, 40 years. Uh, very nice porcelain statues and such of, of female nude figures mainly. They're beautiful. And then yeah, we, really, very nice. And then we also have, which is really interesting, a, a, a cartoonist by the name of Marty Murphy. He was a very famous cartoonist. He did Mr. Magoo and, and a lot of comic strips and stuff. But what he was most famous for is Playboy cartoons in the Playboy magazines. So we have all his original artwork spans about 30, 40 years of uh, the original artwork from the cartoons. And uh, Playboy collectibles have been taking on a life of its own. They really have uh, uh, that's more and more, you know, fades from memories because that was really big, you know, in the 50s and mm -hmm. 60s and into the 70s. Right. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the value of some of those items? Ah, you know, this is going to be a tough one because of, the the artwork itself never surfaces. I mean, it's just you never see this stuff. Right. So I, I would say, you know, five hundred to a thousand easy per cartoon, you know, and there's a lot of nice color ones in there too. And a lot of them were actually matching up with the issues. So we'll say, you know, this one was in August of seventy four or whatever, page two fifty. So so it's gonna be pretty interesting. Well that auction's coming up hopefully in August. We're working on it now. But we're yeah. looking to add some uh items to that, right? Yeah, you know, uh, again, as I mentioned, you know, Playboy, uh, uh, the Playboy clubs, and any any memorabilia from that uh, from that era, Playboy club memorabilia is good. Not so much, you know, souvenirs like uh, glasses and such. Every everybody got that, and even the magazines. I mean, unless you have some of the very very early magazines from the from the uh, the nineteen fifties. They don't hold much value at all. Right. Uh, but one of the things I would really love to find is uh, an original Playboy bunny outfit. Wow! Now a lot of the girls they weren't supposed to take them home when they were when they were uh, uh, you know stopped working there, but a lot of them did. And when they turn up, they bring unbelievable money. So wow! No kidding. Somebody's got one in a, a trunk out there. We'd That's like right. To... And we know some of the women that used to work at the one in Wisconsin, the Playboy Club yeah. there. I'm sure you guys frequent it once or yeah. twice. Yeah, 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 we're there back in the days. So a that's lot of famous acts are used, used to have unbelievable right. uh, talent come through there, yeah. That's great. So interesting collection. You know, that's what's neat about our company is all the, the eclectic types of collections we get. Playboy and erotica, cameras, you know, fishing lures. It's just amazing the neat stuff that we get, isn't it? I love it. Yeah. If you collect it, we can sell it for you. That's right. And a reminder, too, about the JFK collection. I know we mentioned it a few weeks ago. But that also is an amazing collection coming up in November. You want to just touch on that real quick? Yeah, again, that was uh, from Monty Lutz. He was the uh, forensic expert who had approved that the shot was made uh, uh, before the, the, uh, the testified before the Senate committee. We have all his all his original uh, uh, videotapes of that and uh, all his uh, notes, and volumes and volumes of notes, and uh, actually the uh, a replica of the actual gun that he used to prove that the shot could be made. And that gun was used in the uh, the movie uh, Lee Harvey Oswald on trial. That was the same gun that was used in that. 
And as a matter of fact, just the other day, uh, uh, somebody came in with some original photographs that they had taken of JFK and his wife coming off the plane at the airport in Dallas. Oh, my gosh. That's magnificent. I can't wait for that one. Again, November, that's our annual fall classic. Randy was mentioning earlier he's really pushing for Petroliana, cars, vehicles, trucks, barbershop items, soda fountain, you name it. November classic is the time to sell Give us a call at 815-923-7000. It is not too soon to consign to that auction. 815-923-7000. So, Mike, thank you so much for all of that. Check our website at DonleyAuctions.com for our schedule for the year. Folks, you don't want to miss us. We are here for you at, on AM560, The Answer. I'm Susan, and we'll see you at the auction. Thanks for listening to the Donley Auctions Hour on AM560, The Answer. Check out all the latest information on upcoming auctions and collectibles at DonleyAuctions.com. And while you're there, you can contact someone about buying or selling your collectibles or estates. That's DonleyAuctions.com.